Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another JTOH video. My name is Rose Studios, and this isn't a normal video. Um, this is actually an edited down live stream that I did on Sunday. In that live stream, I played some harder towers than I've been doing in my videos recently, intense difficulty and above. As the stream went on, it kinda wasn't that as much. Um, I played some towers people were suggesting, um, and then eventually I went to Ring 6 for the first time, and I beat Tower of Radiant Realms, and I, yeah, I know that's not intense or above, but a lot of people were suggesting that in the live chat. If you just want to skip to where I enter ring 6, you can skip to this time in the video. For that, it's just the edited down highlights of what happened before that in the stream. If you don't want to miss any streams or future videos, then make sure you subscribe. Um, but I'll try to schedule streams in the future so that there's a bit of a notice for when I'll start doing that. But yeah, I hope you do enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started with Tower of Nonsensical Platforms. So I've practiced this a little bit so far, and this morning, um, I watched a, like, guide video to this, so hopefully I'll be good for the most part like i won't be super confused uh yeah you you can actually fit in between these so yeah this tightrope is kind of weird right here i they're, they're like can collide false parts to it if you do something like that i guess i don't know it it, it works i guess but if you fall you can just restart since this is only floor one uh here you have two different uh paths you can take this one's like hard but short this one is long but easy uh, I haven't really tried the the other route over there, but I'll just do this one. They're both outside. Well, this one's entirely outside. The other one is inside a little bit, but yeah. So let's carefully go across this thin tightrope. Yeah, basically this part, it has like these spinning platforms that take forever. So yeah, if you're doing a speed run or something, then definitely take the other route. But yeah, if you just want to like play it safe, then take this one. And now we're up here. This is where... Uh, th that's like the end of the other section in here. There's nothing in there. It's pretty much I don't know why that's there But yeah, you want to come up here uh, You do these kind of truss wraparound things now if you see this miscolored thing here that is can collide false so Don't jump on that. So just uh, jump straight to here And then here we go. Did you miss the button go down and find it again? No, well, no because there is no button But yeah, you're perfectly fine to go across these whether you've pressed the non-existent button or not um, you can't make this wrap around. You can actually go through the wall. There's this, like, meme zone here. You can take a break for a minute. Okay, apparently I forgot that was there. You gotta be kidding me. Do T-O-E-A if you haven't already. What is that, Tower? I'm terrible with these acronyms. Tower of- oh, Extraordinary Adventures, that's what it is. That's in Ring 5. Yeah, I kind of am scared to do that one because, like, is- are the buttons, like, more obvious than they seem? Or is it, like, why- Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to Corrupted Nightmares and then coming back to this. Sure, that's harder, but whatever. It's a good and fun tower for me. It's lots of buttons. Yeah, maybe we, we maybe can do that today. But here we go on Corrupted Nightmares. So apparently this is the sequel to Tower of Shattered Dreams, uh, which is in Ring 2. The reason I've been recently doing, like, easier towers for my videos is because those are easier to record on, like, short notice. Whereas, like, a remorseless tower like this, um, that, that's gonna take a lot of practicing and a lot of preparation for that video. And I'm always afraid that if I'm, like, just playing it, like, just for fun and not recording it, like, I'll get super far and then I'll be like, I need to, I should be recording this. Usually when I record, I have to, like, ask the people in my house if I could, like, be, if they could be quiet for a little bit so I can record. And so I can't exactly just say, I can't really just record just out of nowhere, but, you know, with a live stream, if I get super far, then it's fine, because the whole thing's already, like, recorded. What is your personal best on Tower of Corrupted Nightmares? I honestly don't know. I've played this, like, once before, so floor two or something. Um, yeah, honestly, this isn't so bad. Um, we have a curved tightrope here. Oh, no, oh, no, okay, 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 okay. That works, I guess. And I fell, of course. Thought those were falling, but I guess not. Well, at least I didn't fall all the way to floor one. I am going in the wrong direction, though. Watch out, poisonous elixir will start rising soon. Oh, that, I, okay. Does that insta-kill me? Yeah, it does, okay. Well, let's just go really fast, then. Is this, like, a whole flood escape? Is this whole thing a flood escape 2 style tower? Or just this one floor? Well, at least I can tell where I'm supposed to go, and I'm not just sitting here for way too long trying to figure out where to go. Okay, yeah, just on that floor. Okay, good to know. Did you find all the crystals? No, I didn't. I bet, is there one down there? I bet there is. I bet it's down here. Let's see. How many of these are there? Do any of you know? You have to find five. Great. 
That's fantastic. Is this one of the crystals? What does it say? In this cave, there are three crystals hidden. Solve puzzles to unravel them. I see. So I got the two I needed. Um, I'm gonna turn this off so they're not in the way. Careful because they're difficult to find. If, except it doesn't say. <sighs> yeah, okay, let, let's let's go to ring six. Oh, I didn't mean to leave that. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Well, no, let's read this, right. Beat 30 towers in world one. Beat six difficult plus towers in world one. Beat two challenging plus difficulty towers in world one. There are 11 towers and one citadel in here. The final pit stop before the depths of the inferno. This ring is heavily industrialized and sits on grim hills. There isn't much to see here other than the towers, which happen to be unusually wacky this time around. Good luck. Here we go. Uh, hold on, let's wait for things to load in. Let's see, what do I know about this ring? I know that there's Citadel of Scythe Recognition. I know that apparently won the Wacky Frame Contest. Um, I know that tow Tower of Strategic Mechanics is here. Uh, I know that this is kind of, I I'm pretty sure it says when you go inside this building here, like this is a more industrialized ring too. Like it's more modern. Uh, the practice lobby is here. The towers are here. The viewing area is here, and the sky lobby is here. Let's go to the towers. Let's just start with the easiest one: Tower of Friendly Jumps. And yes, I know this isn't intense plus, but I guess after we beat this, after we beat this, I'll try an intense tower, or like or harder, uh, in this ring. In ring six, I would recommend beating Tower of Radiant Realms before Tower of Environmental Pain because Tower of Radiant Realms is e easier than Tower of Environmental Pain, in my opinion. <coughs> yeah, okay, I'll keep that in mind. It would, be, but instead of it, <laughs> oh. No. Okay, yeah, let's move on to an intense tower. Uh, what intense or remorseless tower in here would you guys recommend? Try Radiant Realms. Okay, that's only difficult, but it's okay. It's pretty cool so far. Oh, I see. I jump on these. I didn't see that. And now some spinning platforms. Let's jump on that. Uh, I guess something I can talk about. Uh, they re In Obby Creator, they recently added, like, uh, the well, it wasn't a new part type, but, like, they made it so you could make spin parts be, like, spinning on the middle part, like, the middle spot of themselves, like, they spin around a point like that. So what have you done with those? Uh, we have a portal here. This has GBJ pretty far into the tower though, be warned. Yeah, I, this this floor here reminds me of the fact that I've seen like a video of this one time. And yes, there is a GBJ, as I recall. So that's fun. Okay, here we go. Wait, no, that that's, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. Stop it. Okay. No, that's another kill brick. Okay, I'm safe now. Am I? Nope, I'm not. Now I am, I think. But this is an outside section, which is just great. I made a spinning frame. That's cool. What did that button do? Go back. Okay. Let me just be careful on this tightrope. Says that while almost falling off. Uh, did that activate this? That may have done that, I guess. Uh, where do I go from here? Oh, I think I, I do go on top of here, I think. No, I don't. Never mind. No, I jumped down. I see. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, okay, I was thinking that was a ledge jump, but it's not. Is there an actual name for those where you, like, go into climbing animation and then jump across a gap because you can't, like, because the ceiling is really low? I don't know if there's an actual name for that. I just call them ledge jumps, though. The spinning chain here is really cool. I like that. Where does this ladder go? Oh, I think this is just, like, a safety net. It's probably kill bricks. You can climb up there if you fall. Those are called ledge grabs. I'm in the same server. If you die, can I have a screenshot with you? Yeah, sure. I don't think that's an if I die, though. It's probably a when I die, because I don't know if I'll be able to beat this, but maybe I can. This is only difficult, right? Yeah, actually, maybe I have a slight chance. Um, let's see, where do I go? Is this can collide true? Oh, it is. Okay, I, do, I go across this. There we go. Now, what did that activate? Oh, wait, it activated this. I think this was transparent before. That probably activated something important. I think that. So let's head back over here through another portal. This one is a lot brighter, so I'm glad to see that. Let's go through this. Uh, I don't think the chances of me falling off that platform are too big, but I'm gonna try not to do that e either way. Uh, there's another button. Oh, I think I saw, I think that I probably activated a platform in here that I saw was invisible a second ago. Yeah. And uh, I guess I need another button and it's down here, I see. See that ladder kind of hinted that to me. Okay, well, I don't need to press the buttons again. But that ladder kind of hinted that that was down there because it was broken, and obviously I'm not supposed to climb up that from the safety net here. But it's not just going to be there for no reason. 
maybe it could be, but I don't know. But anyway, now I can walk up this, and it looks like we need another button. And here it is. And let's go through this portal now. And onto the next floor. I guess each, like, realm is a different floor. Be careful, you could get lost in the darkness. Is this the GBJ floor? I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm gonna try going backwards here. What? Oh, I did land on the platform. Okay, I was like, was I standing on the X pusher? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go, okay. Uh, I can jump, I guess. So let's go to right here. All right, it keeps teleporting me, but the, uh, it's wor wh whatever I'm doing seems to be right. This is can't collide true, so it's not just a light source. Where do I go from here? Oh, it just, that's, okay, I was thinking I'd like go on, oh no, oh no. Do I go on top of this? Maybe I do, please. Okay, Whew. on to the next part. I think this is a push box button. Uh, it looks blue, but I think it's still technically gray, so it'll work as if it's not. Like, it, the only reason it's blue is I think because it has reflectance on it, which basically makes that look like the sky box. So uh, I can assume that the sky box looks like that. Like, that, it, it doesn't, Never mind. Okay, that's another push box button right there. Uh, is this a teleporter? It is. That responds that. I think you need to push it in that, like, thing under the mountain here. I guess this is a mountain. I don't know. Yeah, and then it'll be sent back over here, I think. No, but it did press a button. And, uh, these parts were can clad false a minute ago. Uh, next section, I guess. Well, this isn't the next, like, realm thing. This respawns this box, right? If I push that out of the way, yeah. This box needs to push this button. And now I can climb up this and press this button. And I think I can go back now. And I think that opened this. Do I push this onto the button? No, that respawns this. This button this bu button respawns this box. This is what I needed to push that on. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that without jumping down because I don't wanna have to climb back up. Perfect. I think that activated this. So uh, that should we should be able to go to the next realm i think i think i saw that this is the top now what did that button do do i go back down oh it opened this i see okay so i was supposed to go back down this is where the gbj is right oh boy i think these are rope swings okay let's just take a moment to appreciate that i've made it this far because i'm probably about to die i'm just saying i'm probably not gonna talk much because i need to focus here is this kind of quite true it is. Yes, it is the GBJ, as you guys are saying. Uh, can I make this jump? I really hope I can. Okay. Also, how close am I to finishing this? And can I jump on that? I'm assuming that's button activated, and I really don't want to try jumping on there. Yes, that's button activated. Uh, where to now? I think I have to go back. Yeah, go back. Okay. This is, this is stressful. Uh, yeah, I do jump there. Where do I go from here? Where was I just? I was over there, right? That open, did that open this? I think it opened this. Oh no, this is gonna be hard. Okay, now my hands are starting to shake a little bit. Uh, when you said this was like the second to last floor, I think. That was really close. Okay. Up this. Uh, what does this button do? Something, I guess. Did that- do I go here now? Oh wait, is this safe? I guess it is, there's that ladder there. Okay, so I can- oh, and the button activated this. So I can relax for a little bit. Okay, I want to jump to this now. Please don't kill me. If I die here, I will lose it. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, no more GBJ, as one of you just said. So, yeah. Uh, as long as I don't somehow fall down a floor, I don't think there's any way I can. I should be okay. Okay, let's jump down here. Is this a GBJ? Oh boy. Yep, that's a GBJ, all right. Okay. 
uh, last section, I believe. Do I jump? Do I jump across this gap? I think I do. That was close. This is can't quite true. Last last floor, I think, right? I'm gonna check all of these. I do not want to fall. That was close. But the wind pad's close by, isn't it? What's with all these GBJs? Come on. Yes, this is it, right? I'm very close. Yes, the wind pad's in here. Yes, yes, there we go. GG. Woo, Tower of Radiant Realms. Finally, I completed something in here. Hold on, was Invisible Players on? I feel, I think it was. Uh, oh, it was. So you were following me. Okay, I'm, I apologize about that, but uh, hello, people. I did not realize you were here. Yeah, screenshot. I think, which one he was asking for that? You are so far into your journey into the Inferno. It's amazing that you have made it uh, here to read this message. This is a more industrialized version of Ring 2. That's where it said that. So the towers are on the harder side of the spectrum. Congrats and good luck. Uh, yeah, that's the wind room. This looks, this wind room is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the lobby now. But that's gonna be the end of the live stream. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, I guess. Um, hopefully I, I did, this is actually my second live stream. I did one a couple weeks ago. Yeah, if you want, if you're in the server, you can come into this lobby room. We can get a screenshot. Subscribe. Yes, subscribe if you enjoyed, if I didn't say that. And like the stream too. So yeah, have a great day.